Eddie Gabor is our market watcher at 10.33 Eastern Time this morning. Now, Eddie, towards the end of last year, you were one of the few people on this show who were turning really cautious and issuing some pretty strong warnings. I understand that now you are worried about February. What's the problem coming at us in February? So you're exactly right, Stuart. And my view being non-consensus makes me even more confident in our market call because the herd many times is wrong. This setup is perfect for what we've laid out to your viewers and our clients in regards to taking the strength of the Santa Claus rally and rotate into more defensive names. Fast forward to February. Now the focus is going to be on what the Fed is going to do in March. There's a lot of research out there that says that by March, the worst of this new variant could be behind us. And now the Fed, and that's very inflationary, by the way, and now the Fed is out of excuses as to why they can't tighten. I believe that the focus is going to go on to the Fed starting to tighten during an economy that is slowing down. It's not a recession, but it is slowing down. And so I think that there's going to be tremendous volatility here that's going to start, as we've been saying, late first quarter, so mid to late February, and carry on for the first six months of this year. So take advantage of it and take advantage of these gains and start replaying some defense. We okay. bought real estate this morning. Well, you said you bought real estate. I mean, was that houses, office buildings, or REITs? REITs that are tied to rents. That's probably our favorite sector, especially housing. Uh, housing inflation and the dynamics of housing is going to cause rents to really accelerate in 2022. So we think this is a great way to lower volatility for the right investor, get good cash flow in an asset class that has some of the best supply demand dynamics in recent history. So prices have gone up so much, it's going to force people to go into rentals and rents are going to increase. Okay, whilst you've been talking, we've been showing the audience of big tech stocks, which are just getting hammered all over again. We've got financials on there right now, they're doing well, but big tech is just getting hammered. Would you buy any of the dip? I don't know whether you're a dip buyer or not, but would you buy this dip right now? So right now, we have not been buying tech because we've actually been, we were reducing tech during the strength that we saw in December because of the setup that we think is going to happen here in the next six months. So tech is not going to perform well if our market thesis is correct in regards to tightening during a slowdown. Uh, so we're not buying this dip right now. You're killing me, Eddie. Everybody knows I've got a sliver <laughs> of Microsoft, and you're just killing me there, lad. But we'll see you again soon. I think soon. you've made a lot of money on it, Stuart. No comment. But we will see you again real <laughs> soon, and that's a fact. My best to the family, Thank Eddie. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you, Stuart.